Olivia, and my brand was Tom. So Tom's is a for-profit retail company selling footwear and now expanding into glasses, bags, and coffee for men, women, and children. Tom's was founded in 2006 under the one-for-one -one model, where for every pair of shoes purchased, one pair of shoes was donated to a child in an underserved area. Tom's target consumers are socially conscious men and women between the ages of 13 and 30 who are fairly affluent, tech-savvy, and willing to spend money on social causes that they care about. Tom's can be purchased in a variety of places, such as Nordstrom, Whole Foods, um, Tom's stores, as well as Tom's website and mobile app. Their main competitors are Vans, Allbirds, and Adidas. Their advertising is through short, memorable videos that speak to their cause and focus on their initiatives. They've received backlash because of reports indicating that the shoes that were donated to help children's lives were not actually making the improvement that um, Tom's had initially claimed. So I have six recommendations to really help Tom's stand, amongst their, stand out amongst their competitors. First, improve their image. To counteract the public backlash, Tom's should work with socially conscious consumers and influencers to host live virtual events with giveaways where consumers can donate money to specific charities that Tom supports. So Tom's already has a great um, arsenal of social media influencers that they can call upon. This, um, they've utilized VR in their stores, have really great technology with their um, online presence, so they can leverage all this to create these digital events. This will also help reinforce the fact that they're a socially conscious brand. This, um, they need to get the right influencers or this could have a risk of coming off as inauthentic. And with Corona, we're seeing lots of brands going online with um, Instagram Live and YouTube Live. So Tom's needs to really have a great experience that will stand out amongst the crowd. They can expand their product line. So right now, Tom's products don't create as excitement as they once did. So Tom should come um, adapt to the times. For example, with the advent of Corona, we with Corona we know that people are staying at home more, really like loungewear. So going into that field with um, house slippers and um, socks. As well, we're seeing Gen Z having uh, more interest in athletic sneakers, so pivoting into this area. Obviously, we know with risks are costs associated with marketing and creating this new line, as well as technology and making sure they have the capabilities to create these different lines. Third would be personalization. A key trend within the retail industry is personalization. So Tom should offer customization with a create your own sneaker option. This would appeal to Gen Z and millennials, attract new customers. Tom's would be able to get ahead of competitors who do not offer this and garner more publicity for Tom's. Risk would be that they need to redesign their online platforms for this capability, as well as requiring more time and labor to create these new shoes. Then fourth, we can see them um, going into limited edition collaborations to really create excitement um, and interest in the brand. So this could help Tom's tap into a new market of consumers who might have not considered purchasing the products before. Um, this would further appeal to Gen Z and millennials, building that brand loyalty amongst them, as well as garnering publicity and ensuring that Tom's remains top of mind. Um, and both the designer and Tom's can leverage their extensive social media platforms and celebrity friends to promote the collaboration. Then with risk, they need to pick the correct designers or this could come off as inauthentic to the brand. Of course, costs we would see with creating a new product, the marketing technology, um, it would need to be heavily marketed to ensure people all over the world can get involved. Um, and it must generate a lot of excitement or there could be an excess of inventory. Recommendation five, increase storytelling marketing, marketing campaigns. So this is Tom's bread and butter, and we're seeing more socially conscious brands enter the retail space. So for Tom's to really stand out, they need to dig deeper and create more heartfelt and moving marketing efforts. So this would allow Tom's to stay true to their brand. Um, it's one of their core competencies that they're strong at. They've utilized VR before um, and have great online presence so they can incorporate digital tools. Um, risk would be the cost associated with this. They need to make sure that the stories are authentic. And with Corona, we're seeing more people and brands coming online, and so they would need to have a digital um, presence. Then lastly, partner with socially conscious companies to um, further raise awareness for the brand. So this can help with creating new product lines to reach new customers. Both companies can leverage existing marketing and technology capabilities, and they can utilize their own social media platforms and influencers to push their products. Roost would be the cost associated with this, um, a creation of a new product line, as well as the fact that having a partner could overshadow with Tom's, but that's a pretty limited concern since Tom's is already a pretty well-known established brand. So thank you for your time and um, that will be all from me.